स्मार्ट कास्ट लिसनिंग टू अ हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स प्रोडक्शन ब्रॉट टू यू बाय एच टी स्मार्ट कास्ट हेलो दीज आर द टॉप न्यूज फॉर द डे A Maoist attack in Chhattisgarh's Dantewara district that claimed the lives of 10 policemen and the driver of their vehicle on Wednesday fueled speculation about possible violations of the standard operating procedure that could have led to gaps in security. The men, part of a four vehicle convoy that was returning from an anti-Maoist operation 75 kilometers away, were traveling in an unprotected and rented minivan when an improvised explosive device, IED, tore through their vehicle. Barely 700 meters from the Arunpur police station, a police official said the crater on the road suggested that the Maoists had dug a foxhole to plant the explosives at night. That this could happen undetected so close to the Arunpur camp is a matter of concern, said the official, requesting anonymity. A former police official said the troop movement in an open minivan appeared to break protocol, especially because of the apparent absence of an advance recce by a road opening party. First and foremost, the movement of the security forces should never be on vehicles on that road. It should be on foot or bikes, but if Jawans were going on the road, there should be a road opening party to sanitize the road, he said. A Gujarat High Court judge on Wednesday recused herself from hearing Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's appeal challenging the order of a Surat court which declined to stay his conviction in a 2019 defamation case last week. The Congress leader is currently out on bail. He had filed the plea on Tuesday and it was listed for hearing at 2:30 p.m. on Wednesday. When the matter came up for hearing in the second half today, Justice Keeta Gopi, in whose court the matter was listed, said, "Not before me," Gandhi's counsel P S Tampaneri said. Tampaneri said a note will now be sent to the acting chief justice for the matter to be taken up by some other court following which the next date of hearing will be fixed. A Metropolitan Magistrates Court in Surat on March 23 had convicted and sentenced Gandhi to two years in prison in a criminal defamation case for a remark he made about the Modi surname ahead of the 2019 general elections. Due to his conviction, Gandhi was disqualified as Lok Sabha MP from Kerala Swayad on March 24. On April 3, the former Congress president filed an appeal before the Sessions Court against the verdict and was subsequently granted bail till the disposal of his plea. The right to marry cannot mean compelling the state to create a new definition of marriage. The union government emphasized on Wednesday, imploring the Supreme Court to desist from hearing the same-sex marriage case any further and leave the issue to Parliament for a decision. According to the government, it is impossible for the Constitution bench to conceive of the complexities and situations that may arise following the recognition of same-sex marriage, and therefore, the only constitutionally permissible option for the top court is to defer to the wisdom of Parliament. Appearing before a five-judge bench led by Chief Justice of India Dhananjay Chandrachur, Solicitor General S.G. Tushar Mehta commenced the submissions on behalf of the centre by requesting the court to stop hearing the matter and wait for Parliament to take a call on a very complex subject having profound social impact. The S.G. on the fifth day of arguments in the case said the court's exercise will have unintended ramifications not only on society but also on several statutes and at least 160 legal provisions beyond the special marriage act sma which he said cannot be reconciled if the court were to grant legal recognition to same sex marriage former pakistani diplomat abdul barseed said india may carry out another surgical strike in the aftermath of the terror attack in the poonch district of jammu and kashmir but ruled out any such possibility ahead of the g20 summit barseed said that fear of a retaliatory strike has become the talk of the town in pakistan now people in pakistan are talking about another surgical strike or air strike by india I do not think that now they will do the same because they are holding SCO meet and G20 presidency this year. I don't see any misadventures from India till the time they hold presidencies. But next year during elections, India may do this again. This may happen just before the elections in India, Basit said in a recent video. The former Pakistani diplomat also tried to justify the terror attack in which five army jawans lost their lives by saying whoever has done it be it mujahideen or whoever they have targeted the military not civilians 
they are engaged in a legitimate struggle. If you are conducting a movement, you are targeting the military but not civilians, international law allows it. Karnataka Chief Minister Biswa Raj Bommai will continue on the post for another term after the upcoming assembly elections, senior Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, leader and Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis said on Wednesday, even as the party is yet to make an announcement in this regard. Polling for the 224-member Karnataka Legislative Assembly is scheduled for May 10th and counting of votes will take place on May 13th. Addressing a press conference in Vijaypura, Fadnavis said owing to the best governance of Bommai, the party's national leadership has decided to continue him also for another term. BJP will come out with a clear majority in the election and no doubt Bommai will lead the next government, Fadnavis said. He further said that Union Home Minister Amit Shah, about two years ago, had announced that the BJP would contest the elections in Karnataka under Bomai's leadership and that he would continue as the chief minister. Ferdinawis exuded confidence that the people of Karnataka will continue supporting the BJP owing to the work being done by Prime Minister Narendra Modi as well as the Bomai government. You were listening to the HD Daily News Wrap. A beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Please give us feedback on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at HD Smartcast or via email to podcasts at hindustantimes.com. Until next time. This was a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. HD Smartcast